Paris, Tokyo, Berlin, megacities, old towns and new districts. New York, Mumbai, Milan. Houses, villas, palaces, swimming pools. Where do today's great architects live? Those who change the look of our cities, draw new horizons, transform contemporary landscapes. Where do they feel at home and how do they inhabit their own space? The Salone del Mobile offers a glimpse with an exhibition to be held at the Milan Fair from the 8th to the 13th of April, where architects live. Eight installations inspired by the homes of eight key figures of contemporary architecture. Spaces, furnishings, materials, passions and obsessions. A chance to get to see them close up, explore the culture of modern living and suggest new ways of designing at all latitudes. From Brazil to Japan, where do architects live? You know, when you live in the Bronx, people think Bronx is the center of the world. When you live in Tel Aviv, people say Tel Aviv is the center of the world. When you live in Milan, people say this is the center of the world. When you live anywhere in the world, people, wherever they live, it is the center of the world. The reason I think living is very important is because, apart from it being very important as shelter, you should have the minimal existence. You should have shelter. Uh, it should also, make people feel better. Sou um urbanoide. Não não gostaria de morar em algum lugar muito calmo e longe de toda essa neurose aqui. Eu virei um viciado uh, nessa vida louca que temos. Então, eu adoro ela. Anche se ho cambiato diverse case, l'ho sempre fatto da cittadino, cioè si finisce per avere una cultura urbana vivendo a Milano. Per cui non mi è mai venuto per la mente, cercando una casa, di poterla disegnare e costruire. Se devo sintetizzare cos'è la mia casa, è una libreria alta, alta, grande, in cui io giro a piedi e camminando vedo e tocco i miei libri, intanto li rimetto a posto, ogni tanto lascio una confusione tremenda, per non faccio fatica a ritrovarli, ma è proprio il, il cuore della mia casa. Il house è un luogo privato, ma allo stesso tempo, I think as communal animals, the house is not innocent in terms of, it's not only just about going and sleeping and and uh, having a fridge you know, it's not so all of us I think see our house as a frontier between our private comfort and the first step of, of where we meet people this house is this whole property is actually rented so we moved here now I think it is 17 years ago the house, in a sense, I've learned about living in a house by living in this house. But it's not a big, it's not a big joy house. I think it's a collection of many people who participate, like yourselves. I'm just one of the many, you know, not the only. <laughs> È un architetto, tutto apparteneva, sì. Ed era un architetto molto singolare, che si chiamava Puyon. Lui stava qui ed aveva giustamente passioni eh, sessuali, erotiche e pulsioni sentimentali che aveva quasi un percorso erotico. Noi abbiamo lasciato la sequenza, ovviamente abbiamo levato la bagnoire, sì, l'abbiamo fatta diventare eh, mono personale, ecco. C'è Fontana, c'è Boetti, ci sono tutte le, le cose che, che amiamo. Perhaps you were in my apartment in New York, but there is a table there, which I wanted to get rid of already many, many years. It's the first thing I ever designed. When I came to Milan, uh, to Benedetto Marcio, we didn't have anything. We were sitting on the floor, we had no beds, we had nothing. The architects I really respect, even Le Corbusier, Miss Van der Rohe, Arbarato, they kept designing the house until they die. That's my, uh, my hope. I liked my house when I was in Baghdad. I think that was a very nice 
house and I enjoyed being there. And that was very important for me because it was a very unusual place and it was very nice. But when I moved away, I was like a, a gypsy. So I never really settled down in one place and that it was a home for me. So, um, and also I, I spend all my time traveling now and out. I think with these private houses for architects, you either do them as a first house, like a first statement of your ideas, or you have to do them when you are retiring. I'm not ready to retire yet.